Sean Enright, 35 and 1 this year, career record 134 and 13. First of two Wilson wrestlers that we'll see in the finals here. We'll see Brett Werkheiser in the 135 pound finals. And it's interesting that Brett Werkheiser and the wrestler you're watching here, Steve Class, are their student council president and vice president in the school. Wilson Burrow basically has one traffic light. Uh, probably about 200 kids in the high school, and here they are representing two in the national finals. Two points, take down and right. Two points and right. A lot of movement. Sean Enright uh, from Lebanon, Ohio. Last year he was a uh, state champion in uh, Division Two in Ohio. This year Lebanon moved up to Division One, and he uh, lost uh, on a, in the finals on a last-second takedown, a match where maybe a call went here or there. He might have been a uh, two-time state champion, but uh, certainly acquitted himself very well. He only started wrestling in the seventh grade, so he's relatively new to this sport. Two to one in right. Tried to throw by, came right back into a single. Class defending out front with a front headlock. And right also third as a sophomore, so he's a three-time state place winner. Class was fourth in Class AA here in Pennsylvania as a uh, his junior year. Class with a dump that has got him to these finals. Very effective with that. Class with a lateral, went right underneath. Steve's a very big arm bar man also. Keeps the pressure on top. Constantly working for a fall. Sean Enright, kind of tied up right now. Has that arm through. And both these wrestlers, as we get to the end of the first period, have had things pretty much their own way in this tournament. Class with uh, an eight to two, nine to one decisions, an injury default win, and then a pin in the semifinals. And Sean Enright with decisions of 15 to three and nine to two, a pin, a 13 to four major decision, and an 11 to six decision to get to the finals. So. Really, neither of these wrestlers have had a close match. Klaus trying to work a low leg cradle. Has it, elbow deep at the knee. Enright trying to get to his belly. Comes up to his knees and now working from the front. They're neutral. Tie score, three to three. And a minute and a half left in the second period. And right, real nice single. Got to finish. Trying to keep him on the mat. And he's got two. Got to work the kick out. Real clean. Got in deep. Pulled it up. Trip down for two. Mr. Enright, first time we saw him on top, threw the legs right in. And he's back in with him again. Working that cross body ride. Another trend you'll see in today's wrestling, when you do put that leg in, the officials want you to use it and they will talk to you. Trying to break that 90 degrees. He's got that bow and arrow back through there again. He's got to get the elbow in the back for leverage, which is what he's correcting. 
And now he gets a two count, and he'll get back points here. That'll be three. Got a one count before, now he gets the five count. Now he's got to free that now, he'll get the count. Right, we have another arm bar man here, working him very well. Still with that arm bar. He's trying to work that bow and arrow through again. The bow and arrow again. 12 seconds left in the second period, and Sean Enright from Ohio has really taken command here. What's unique, what he's doing there is he's working the legs and diverting the attention away from the bar that he's working through. And then all of a sudden that arm slips through, he's got it hooked, puts the elbow in the back and takes it to his back. It's, it's difficult to pin a man from that position, but you're assured back points. Klaus trying the roll, but Enright had the leg in. End of the second period, 8-3. Boy, does he have a great single to that side or what? Very, very right quick. Right to a double, Johnny over the fence, nice. Dumped him right to his back. And now it's 10-3 in favor of Enright. Looking for a Turk here. And he's going to pick up some more back Great points. balance. A good body position. Now he's got that ankle tied up. He could work a fall out of this one. He's got a lot of time, and that's what you need on your side there. Now the officials just watch him for that rear leg that he doesn't get it cranked up. Three on the near fall with the Turk. Near fall. For Enright. Sean Enright showing us a little leg clinic here. Changing up well. Now Drop. the cross face cradle. <laughs> Trying to step over with it. And more back points. Wow. And that's close to a pin. He's on the border, we don't have a good enough angle to see whether he can get it from that. Looked like he had them both down for just an instant, but obviously not long enough to, to get the pin. And now, classes cleared the shoulders. Three more. Mr. Enright has thrown the book at him in this last <laughs> two and a half minutes. And it's hard to believe that Steve Class led three to two after the first period. 14 unanswered points by Sean Enright. Now, uh, Enright looks like he wants to finish it off here. Well, here's Two something. more and he gets the technical fall. Here's something you can enjoy. You don't get to see kids on top this long very much. And there it is. He He's has the technical it. fall now. It's just a question of when he lets it up. Yeah, he might as well just go to his belly here. Well, he does have the opportunity now to try to pin. He steps over, and that's it. Technical fall for Sean Enright. <laughs> Sean Enright, excellent job with the legs. Kept his hips up. Locked him in, turned him about four different ways, wound up with a tech fall over Steve Class. Both boys had a great tournament. Enright the champion. Okay, I'm here with Sean Enright. Sean, that was a tremendous effort. You're down three to two in the first period, then 17 unanswered points to take it. Uh, what was your strategy there? Um, I figured once I get on top, that's my strong point, and uh, I figured once I break him down, then I can go back to basics and work my takedowns which I did. Did you have you surprised at all at any point? In the first period, we both tried to go out fast, and uh, it was, he was up 3-2 in the first period, and I thought it was going to be a long match. And I just tried to um, buckle down and try to work real hard. And With Sean is his father, Paul, and Paul, I guess you got Sean at the, to this point. Uh, the good Lord did, and we, we just uh, thank him for the talents that Sean had. 
Well, you must be pretty proud of uh, what Sean has done. Extremely proud, uh, always at state and at this level, too, and at nationals. We're very proud for him in Ohio. What, what did you think of the competition here? Um, it was real strong. I, everybody I had, it was, I had to give out a full effort, you know. I, I trained a lot for it, and I figured it'd be like it was, you know, pretty tough. Well, congratulations. Thank you, Sean. Well.